Hi everyone, Melia Mucks about here for a quick discussion on how to find and train chocobos. When you're chasing chocobos and need to add new chocobos here, to your stable, you'll need to go to Monica and look through your missions until you find the mission that has a chocobo on it. If your chocobo is sitting on a mission that's too hard, no problem, just enter the mission and abort and the chocobo will move. Good luck. Once you have collected several chocobos and it is random on what quality of chocobo you get, you will want to head to Hidden Harbor to the chocobo stables. You really want to only work with 40-50 if you can, or 50-50s, and only the 50-50 can make it all the way up to a level 99 chocobo if you're after that trophy. Look at all these beautiful chocobos! So here you can see what I was talking about with the levels. Uh, this particular black chocobo is a 50-50. Some of these I have obviously trained and raised up, but down near the bottom I have my newer chocobos, including a 10 out of 20 and a 40 out of 50. I'll go ahead today and try raising this blue chocobo. He has a really good chance of being a nice chocobo, so let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, and here we are. Select a training course to enhance one of your chocobo's stats. Max out your chocobo's level by completing training courses. So chocobos are a lot like weapons. If you look down at the lower right, you can see that they actually have requirements, stamina, jump, and top speed in order to level. You have basically 10 levels in order to fill the level bar and to meet those requirements if you want the chocobo to evolve. Really quick tip, if you do mess up with the chocobo, you can hard close the app and try again. However, if you back out of the menu, uh, it will auto save and unfortunately the training progress will be saved. So looking down at the lower right, I can see that this chocobo needs stamina and jump. So I'm just going to pick one of those two to start off. And then we see if he likes it. Your chocobo is itching to spread its wings. You can now select the motivation training course. All right, I'm not exactly sure what motivation does, but I do believe it puts a little star and it tells you what stat they will benefit greatly from or gain more from. So it looks like if we do stamina again, we get the motivation bonus. You can see it's that little gold star and his stamina will go up 12. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamina again. And it says my chocobo has calmed down so it no longer has the motivation. Now you can see the percentage to the side, the exhaustion percentage has gone up to 13%. This is also the risk of injury for your bird. So I'm going to jump him to switch away from that one. Plus we still need jump. Bird seems satisfied with that session. And I'm gonna jump him again. And now you can see that both stamina and jump are 13%. I'm going to go ahead and do the stamina. Your chocobo can't wait to get started. It will benefit greatly from its stamina session. This is a bird that likes stamina. However, you can see the stamina number has gone orange and is now 24%. So I'm going to play it a little bit safe and I'm going to jump him. And we're gonna jump him. Oh, they're both orange now, but we're gonna jump him again. And that will completely fill the jump requirement. Now on 49, I can choose to stamina, or I could choose to do overall, which raises all three of the stats, but not as much. I am going to do the overall because it's a very low chance of injury. Birds will injure on these low ones though as well. It says my chocobo can't wait to get started. It will benefit greatly from the next overall session. But as you can see, we're on level 50 of 50. So I absolutely need to do stamina to raise it up. Now one trick is on this particular 10 of 10 level. So 50, 50, 60, 60, that kind of thing. Um, your bird cannot injure. So I'm going to go ahead and do this plus 27 stamina. And I successfully met all of the requirements and so my bird will increase by 10 levels. Now, if you want to be super cautious, you can back out of the menu at this point because I've raised it successfully for 10 levels. And then you can go back in and that progress has been saved. And this is really going to be a game 
of just trying not to have your bird injure while you fill these requirements. Now, if they do injure on a white, they will need to rest once, on orange twice, and on red three times. So it's not impossible to raise, but it does make it more difficult to raise. And you could choose to rest your bird, but unfortunately, if you do choose to do that, the rewards also decrease with the chance of injury. So I'm gonna go ahead and try an overall. He seemed to really like that before. Yep, it can't wait to get uh, started. It will greatly benefit from the next overall. So I'm gonna listen to that and overall again, even though there's a risk of injury. Chocobo can't wait to get started. It will benefit greatly from overall. Oh, this is where it starts getting tough and you're like, do I listen to you? Not at a 57%, I don't think so. So now I need jump and top speed. Jump is still 29%, so is speed. I am just going to pick one of them. Let's have him jump. No, and he got injured. It does happen. It's not the end of the world if it does. But when they are injured, you must rest them. There is nothing else that you can do. So you can see because he injured on an orange, it's going to be two rests. All right, so now I need to make that top speed and jump within six tries. So let's go ahead and do speed. And more speed. Chocobo can't wait to get started. It will benefit from speed. That's great, because we need speed. <laughs> You're really aiming to have a bird that does 200, 270 to be able to open up the entire map. You need 200 stamina, 200 jump, and 70 speed. Mm, so I need to get that stamina up there. I don't think we'll have enough slots to actually get the desired bird, but we'll give it a try. Nope, we're gonna need to do at least one more overall. And no, he injured, so this will not be a 200, 270 bird. And this bird has capped out at 80, 80 with a stamina of 179, a jump of 215, and a top speed of 64. So this has been Melia Mucks About with a quick guide on how to find and raise chocobos. If you would like to see more content like this, please do give me a quick like, a subscribe, and if nothing else, I will see you out there defending the light. <laughs>